Well, here in South Florida, where we see a lot of sunlight, uh, there are several eye cancers that are more common, such as cancers of the eyelids, such as squamous cell carcinoma. On the conjunctiva, which is the surface of the eye, we can also get squamous cell uh, carcinomas, which are uh, light uh, related. Inside the eye, the most common tumor is a mole or a nevus. About one in six people will have a nevus inside of their eye. Intraocular tumors are those tumors that occur inside of the eye, and almost every tissue inside of the eye can give rise to a tumor. Now, some tumors are benign, and some tumors are malignant. Uh, so, for example, the iris, the colored part of the eye, can develop a nevus, which is a benign tumor, or a melanoma, which is a malignant tumor. The retina in the back of the eye can develop a retinoblastoma, which is a cancer we see in children. The layer under the retina is called the choroid, which is a vascular layer, and in that layer we can get choroidal nevi or moles, and we can get choroidal melanoma. And there are a number of other cancers that you can get inside of the eye as well. The signs and symptoms of eye cancer really differ depending on what cancer you're dealing with. In children who get retinoblastoma, there are no symptoms. They don't know to complain that they aren't seeing out of their eye. So the diagnosis usually is made by a parent or a family member seeing a white reflex rather than the normal dark reflex in the pupil. That's called leukocoria or white pupil. About 20% of the time, uh, it's discovered by the eye drifting. So anytime a young child has an eye that's misaligned, it's either drifting in or drifting out, that's not normal, and they should be seen by a pediatric eye doctor to see what the cause is. Now, in adults that develop uh, melanomas and other uh, tumors uh, that we normally see in adults, about half the time, they still don't have any signs or symptoms. Uh, they, uh, the tumor is discovered when they go to have a routine eye exam. The other half of the time, they will have symptoms such as flashes and floaters, blind spots in the vision, that sort of thing. A common misconception is that eye cancer should cause pain, but they actually rarely cause pain. The people at risk for eye cancer vary depending on what type of eye cancer you're talking about. For retinoblastoma, for example, there's no sex or racial predilection. Um, it's equally common in boys and girls and in all races. However, there does seem to be a predilection for lower socioeconomic levels for reasons that we don't fully understand. So the rate of retinoblastoma, let's say in uh, an African country, may be four or five times higher than it is in the United States. And we don't know exactly why, but a lot of research is going on in that area. Now in melanoma, there is definitely a racial predilection. It's, it's mostly a disease of whites or Caucasians. And again, we don't know exactly why that is because there's not a strong correlation with sunlight exposure like there is for, for skin melanoma. The treatment of eye cancer depends on the type of eye cancer, the age of the patient, the location of the cancer, and other factors. But here at Bascom Palmer, we have the whole range of treatments that are available and have uh, any option that would be best for a particular patient. These options include laser treatment, injection of various medicines into the eye. We can surgically implant a radioactive device on the eye for a few days, something called brachytherapy. We can sometimes surgically excise uh, the tumor. Uh, and a really cutting edge technique that we have available now is called intra-arterial chemotherapy, which we use in young children with retinoblastoma. In that technique, a catheter is inserted through the femoral artery in the leg and positioned all the way up to the ophthalmic artery of the eye where chemotherapy is then delivered within the eye. This is done by a highly trained uh, endovascular neurosurgeon uh, that we work with and we get superb uh, results uh, with this. Many of these kids who had such advanced eye cancer that their eye would have been removed even five years ago, we're now able to save uh, most of these eyes. Mm -hmm.